My name is Ethan Woodrow from Bathurst, New Brunswick, and you're watching Tucker Josh videos. Have a great day. <laughs> is clean and we're rolling out got these uh, two loads of utility trailers we each have three enclosed utility trailers on us we're gonna drive a full day today won't quite make it to the Canadian border it's too bad because we we're hoping to make it home today but nah, that's trucking it just didn't work out I'm gonna wait for that guy there. Because I'm too nice. And I also don't wanna uh, split up our little convoy here. If we don't have to. He's let me lead the whole time, the whole week. But it is his first trip though, so I'm just sort of showing him where I stop, you know, how the showers work at Flying J, you know, uh, these different truck stops, my little tips and tricks of how to do things a little quicker or a little better, or the way I do it, I don't know if it's better, but the way I do it. But after this, he'll be ready to go on his own. I believe he's joining our, uh, our Roll Tight crew. Where's the interstate from here? This way, okay. It's gonna be a great day for trucking. Sun is shining. Chrome is shining. because I washed the truck. Never fails, right? I looked at the forecast before I washed it this morning and it said sunshine all the way home. Thanks, weatherman. Uh, 
At least we got all the bugs off the truck. So what T was saying there. That's him in front of me there now. I've been leading the pack all week already, so figure let him go out in front. I want to follow for a little bit. Let him set the pace. Well, I guess that was it. Good thing I put the rain -X on the truck. All of that should just beat up and dry off. Yeah, the majority of the dirt's all off, or most, 99% of it. So I can just wipe it down to the shop when we get home tomorrow. Kind of disappointing though, eh? You know that feeling after you... Went the whole nine yards too, got the whole, the whole shebang. Got the truck all polished up. Just to hit the rain for what, two minutes? Ah, <laughs> uh, trucking, trucking, trucking. Can never just be a smooth day. Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Need some go-go juice. You see with the rain -X, like I was saying, all the water just beads up on it, right? To dry off and just wipe it down when I get home. Kind of disappointing, but that's life. Life is sometimes disappointing. So we're all fueled up. I'm gonna need my wallet. Oh, I always forget my wallet. Let's try this again. Got my wallet. We grabbed our fuel here. Just gonna wait for our half hour to be up and we'll be on our way. Thought I was gonna need a sweater because it was raining. You'd think it'd be a little cooler out then. Ah, it's still hot. It's just got more humid. Don't need that. Got myself a headset today. Show you here. The only kind they had, it's a, well, it's a blue parrot, which I've always liked blue parrots. It's a 450X, B450 XT. They only had the camo one in stock. I bought it at the Loves that we stopped at earlier. I wanted just plain black, but that's not bad, eh? Eh, it's so much easier to talk on the phone and safer. I was just using my uh, my Bose headset, right? Like these little guys. These are the things that Britt bought me, right, for Christmas. These are amazing quality for sound, listening to music. It has a little microphone on it, you see? So you can use it for phone calls, but it doesn't have very good noise cancellation. So when I'm in the truck here, it picks up all the sound of the truck. And when you're going down the highway, this truck is a little noisy. Loud pipes save lives. So it, it picks up everything around me and it's very hard to hear me. So they're better just for audio. And this is better for phone calls. So I can just, you know, throw this over anytime and be like, <laughs> what's up? I'm a real trucker now, CB radio and a Bluetooth headset. This isn't the first one obviously that I've had. I've been driving a truck a long time. I've had many of these. That's why I got a blue parrot. I've always had blue parrots. Not that they're better. Maybe they are. I've never had any other brand, so I just stuck with the brand that I knew and trusted. So yeah, got a new one of those, because my other one broke. That's why I wasn't using my other one. And uh, now, now we should be set. From here, our half hour is now up. We have seven hours and 24 minutes available to us, at least on my e-log. Ours will be very similar, because we started our days within minutes of each other. It should get us pretty far. I mean, if 
I go on to Google Maps here, and uh, let's say we want to get to Grand Forks. I'll just type in Grand Forks. I'm good whenever you are, Josh. All right, just about 30 seconds, I'll be ready. Grand Forks, we gotta hurry up. Grand Forks from where I am right now, that would be about seven hours, so I think we'll make it. It's probably where we're gonna spend the night tonight, and then from there, it's just a short shoot up into Canada tomorrow morning, and we'll be back home at a very decent time. Then I have some time off. Old Blue is going to get some work done, tire rotation, a full service, getting uh, the whole truck looked at, you know, that kind of stuff. Fun stuff. Spending money, spending money. But this is money that I had planned to spend, so it's different than when I had to buy my computer. Because that was money I didn't plan on spending. This is regular maintenance, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I, I like treating Old Blue. She deserves it. She's been working hard. Let's get going. I think we should be able to make it to Grand Forks by the looks of it. Uh, I don't Grand Forks, probably will. Look at it, I don't care. his AC stopped working. Okay, 
so this cable is a little sticky. I'm gonna see if that fixed the problem. In summertime, the last thing you want to go out on you is your AC, especially on a humid day. That's it, you got it? Fixed. It's all that experience and service. He knows what the problem is as soon as it happens. And between him and my dad, they're gonna be able to fix anything. rest area smells like sewage. Oh. They must have had a spill. It wasn't me, believe me. If it was me, I'd own up to it. Be legendary, North Dakota. It's not a request. It's their state slogan. It's their state demand. If you want to be in their state, you must be legendary. It's the only way to exist in North Dakota. So Karen's trying to get us to go north up I-29. We're coming up to the intersection. We're on I-94 right now. We're gonna go south one mile to the Flying J. Did you guess it? Give yourself a pat on the back. Karen, be quiet. Talking to much more important people than you right now. I shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna be mad. This is where I'd usually go if we were going home. Gonna let uh, Jerry know where we're going. So the Flying J is just one mile south down uh, I-29 here. We're running a little uh, low on hours here. I got enough to get there, but for some reason his logbook is a little different than mine. He used up more hours than I did today. And uh, we're not sure if he can get there on his hours, so. Why risk it? And plus, I'm already starting to see bugs develop on my windshield, and this is the time of day when the bugs start getting very active. And if we drive an hour and 15 minutes to Grand Forks through into the night, I know that my truck is going to be covered in bugs again. And I just washed it. I did drive through the rain, but rain is okay. You can wipe it off. Bugs, they stick on there. They're a little harder to get off. Should be lots of parking when we get there. That's another reason I wanted to stop now, because it's uh, 10 to 9 p.m. There should be parking here for both of us. 32nd Avenue South, westbound. This way, Flying J, there it is. Gasoline is 377.9, You're, they're lying. It's not 377.9, it's 378. Diesel fuel is priced at a whopping $5.10 per US gallon. That's still pretty cheap compared to what we're paying in Canada, and it's extremely cheap, I know, compared to what they're paying in the UK and Europe and Australia. They always remind me every time I complain about the gas prices. I know you guys pay a lot more for your fuel, and I don't know why you guys put up with it. 
I mean, they can only charge what they'll, what you'll allow them to, right? Found a spot here. I just finished a live video. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but uh, it was me uh, saying that I was sorry for not making it out to the truck show. This trip stretched out a little longer than we thought it would. It's nobody's fault, really. Uh, just Indiana was a little far to go. And uh, I thought there would be enough time. I accepted the load. It's my fault. I take full responsibility for not being able to make to the, make it to the truck stop. It's completely my fault. I accepted the load. I thought it would be no problem. <coughs> I thought we'd be home uh, probably in the afternoon today. I'm running convoy with my with my uh, father-in-law too, and I, I told him, that, yeah, we should be home around like noon on Saturday. It should be no problem. You know, I'll go home. I'll shower. I'll polish up old blue and I'll be at the truck show for the afternoon. It'll be great. It's going to work out. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have fun. And I I miscalculated a little bit. Indiana, Middlebury, Indiana was a little further than I than I thought it was, I guess. And uh, it's hard for me to adjust to the U.S. hours of service. I don't want to make excuses here, but it's so hard to get places and get stuff done with such reduced working hours like I'm used to Canadian hours of service I can drive 13 hours a day in a 16 hour window no problem but here in the US I've only got a 14 hour window to work and I can only drive 11 hours and to boot I can I, I have to stop for 10 hours before I can start my next day in Canada I only have to stop for eight so you only sleep and stop for eight hours and then you can drive for 13 within a 16 hour window. And then you only have to stop for eight. After that, again, as long as throughout the day you get another two hours off duty, but you can put those anywhere throughout the day in half hour increments. You only have to stop for eight hours at night though. So if I was on Canadian hours of service, no doubt we would have been back, no problem. Probably would have been back Friday, Friday night, would have been no problem. I could have been at the truck show, truck show's over now I could have been hooked up to a new load and off on the road on my next load already right or just stop for my eight-hour night and then back at it in the morning but since we're in the US I have to follow US hours of service which are very restrictive and it's hard to get places fast because there's a lot of you know you got to stop for your half hour break that's mandatory you got to stop for 10 hours not just eight well there goes two and a half hours out of my day that i can't do anything with and then i can only drive for 11 so i already lost out on two and a half hours now i'm missing out on another two hours of drive time at the end of the day that's four and a half hours less of driving that i can do or work that i can do throughout the day so forgive me I'm just venting here a little bit my fault it's my fault uh, I've been doing this a long time I know the hours of service inside and out like the back of my hand backwards and forwards and twice on Tuesday I know how it works and I still miscalculated and I missed this uh, show and it's not I wanted to support them because it was a local fundraiser and it was important to me to support a local charity and local fundraisers yeah, you know, a bunch of my friends from Keystone are gonna we're gonna be there. We're all gonna hang out. It's gonna be great. We're all gonna go talk about trucks all day. It's gonna be awesome. So I was looking forward to that. But you know, trucking happened and I couldn't make it. And I didn't think that I had announced it on social media that I was gonna be there. I didn't think that people would uh, come out a little bit of a distance to hang out and see the truck show and maybe say hi to me and meet me because you guys see me in the vlogs all the time sometimes they want to drive out and meet me when i say i'm going to be somewhere makes sense and a couple of people uh drove up from minnesota and uh when i parked tonight i picked up my phone and i went through some of my messages and that was the first one that popped up and my heart just sank i was like oh no I didn't tell anybody that I'm not going to be there and that plans changed. I feel so bad. They were 
really cool about it though they were so nice and uh they said oh well, they explored steinbeck they went and uh, saw canadian tire they're from the u.s and it was their first trip into canada i saw canadian tire got some tim hortons and they made a day out of it and had fun anyways uh saw the truck show uh but uh they uh, they didn't know i wasn't gonna be there and i just made a live apologizing about that i want to apologize again now i am so sorry that uh, that I didn't tell you that plans had changed. We didn't know. Only I didn't know that plans had changed until yesterday evening. But I still could have posted something then. I'm not sure when you left Minnesota. If it was if it would have been too late, or uh, if uh, I hope the truck show was awesome. I heard that it was awesome. Uh, but I am really sorry that I didn't say anything. And. Uh, we're gonna figure out a way where we can meet up. They live in Minnesota in an area that I drive through quite often, so maybe uh, I can buy you guys supper sometime on my way down there. Uh, hopefully we can meet up. But yeah, I'm just here in the back of Old Blue, getting ready for bed. Tomorrow I'll be home, which will be Sunday. And uh, I hope you guys have a great night. I had a really good week though. I did miscalculate uh, the timing of getting back, uh, but I did have a really good week driving with my father-in-law. Uh, he's a great guy and I had a lot of fun. So with that all aside, I just wanna say thanks for watching everybody and uh, I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Don't forget to hit the like button if you do like my videos. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow.